This video is about prepping grace for saltwater, a possible trip down to the Gulf Coast, first time saltwater for that boat, and with an opportunity to show you the new lift rig that I've installed in the new location here. Hope you enjoy the video. One piece of rigging hardware on here that I can think of that is not stainless is this bracket for the main cleat rig which I fabricated and just never finished and in fresh water it hasn't fared too badly then take the boat off on the new lift system and take a look at the trailer which has some rust spots be nice to do something about those before we hit salt water didn't really want to fully disassemble it but it's gonna be easier Oh, I trimmed the threads on the end. Hopefully it'll go back on since I run the nut out over the trimmed cut end. Fair lead off. I don't think I trimmed those bolts, which is good. And that's all stainless nuts, bolts, and washers. Give it a little rinse denatured alcohol and mineral spirits why not rustoleum wish it was gloss but I only have flat should be all right see how she fares hitting the salt water nomad's been in salt water many times but grace never has so Kind of looking forward to that if the schedule and the weather works out to get down to alabama sail with sp seeker all right now for salt water the next priority is to look at the trailer and to do that we'll walk through the uh, replacement lift system i was not sure whether i'd be able to do one in here the bottom of these joists is only seven feet off the floor but I certainly knew I wanted something that was easier to use than the old rig I had, which had double rope. I had to lean all my weight on it. Very awkward uh, in the old place. So did some calculations reusing the old spreader rig and cabling there and determined that there should indeed be enough height to get that trailer out from underneath it. And this time I used some nice come-alongs. I'll show you how this works. Take the rig out, minimize the weight, pull these four pins. Gotta get this guy unclipped too. Easy to forget that. And do -si do these two boats. Get Cosmo out in front and get Grace back in there under the lift. Then take the spreaders down. And a hook. Let's see if we can remember how this goes. Flip this on here, onto that loop. Oops. Yeah, that's a bad minute. Had to take a block, chunk out of that bridging block for clearance. What I think is, don't need to come up super high in the stern. Just getting those guys clear. The bow needs to come up a little higher to allow this to ride past that. Make sure everything's still kosher. Still makes me nervous. Yeah, it's those silly 
caster ends are actually the highest point to clear and I don't think I'll ever use them I should just take them off to some peace of mind and now I think what we'll do is we will go around and mark with some tape areas that need attention but first I'm just gonna take this guy off you can fold this deal but I mounted that central portion you already have to take some nuts and bolts free here to make the fold i'd have to take that off as well to make the fold i'm just not going to do it so these casters are only getting in the way let's go ahead and get them off of here not too many spots down with mineral spirits Next time I'll take the fenders all the way off and do the insides, which are probably really bad shape, but it's a start. Temps have dropped back down, but I think this cured up okay before that. The red covers like crap but I think it's better than it was before. And the black seems to have gone off pretty well. At any rate, we're gonna call it better than it was. And the bracket for the main cleat seems to be, again, better than it was. So we'll put this back together. re do -do the boats and get Grace back on its trailer. Mexico. 